Hi YouTubers! Today we will implement a navigation view from the Material Design Support Library. Let's see what does it have. It has this menu that looks like a list view and on top of it there is a view that is called header view or header layout and you can implement it but uh, it is not mandatory. Usually you would have an image view there with some additional information like some text view and so on. Alright, let's go. Go to the build.gradle settings of the app and insert these two mandatory dependencies. Then go to the manifest file and look for the name of your theme. By default it is named app theme. After you have looked up the theme name, go to the values folder, then styles.xml file. Here we can modify our theme. In order to make this navigation view, we will have to implement our own toolbar. So that means we need to remove the existing one. To do that, just change parent theme to the no action bar. OK, so after this head over to the main activity.xml file and implement a custom view. View that we need is draw a layout. It is like a wrapper for other views. Just remove this relative layout and fix the draw a layout by pressing Ctrl plus Enter and implementing this XMLNS namespace. Set both width and height to match parent and give it an ID name. Then implement a basic uh, linear layout with the width and height also set to match parent. Inside this linear layout what we first need is a toolbar toolbar that we need is also from the v7 support library so make sure you write it correctly width is set to match parent while the height is set to the design materials default dimension i pasted it into the video description so you can copy it from there also set an id for it and give it a let's say a background color choose some random color okay now we can implement some views that we would like our app to have like we can have a linear layout with text views buttons image views and so on but we will simply pick a frame layout and put a basic text view inside of it just for the demonstration purposes uh, this linear layout is giving us an error. It is saying that we need to set its orientation. So just choose a vertical orientation. Now we need one more view. That is a navigation view. So go to the custom view picker and pick a navigation view from there. Copy it and paste it under the linear layout that is just the way it needs to be implemented layout height must be set to match parent okay again give it an ID then set its layout gravity to start this will ensure that the navigation view is pushed to the left side of the screen at the start of the application of course after this uh, type in the following app column menu and type a new menu name I'll type nav menu this menu is a new menu that needs to be created so press ctrl plus enter on keyboard and choose the first option from the list so now we need to create a group of many menu, menu items type in group close this tag and inside of it we want to create menu items so type item give it an ID 
also title. What is title? Title is the name that will show on the menu and we can set like a small image or icon for that so let's just give it an icon to make this nicer we will add two more items like so and go back to XML file as you saw earlier navigation view can also implement a header layout so let's create one type in app colon header layout with a capital L equals layout slash and give it a name again so again control plus enter and choose option to create this layout we can set the root layout to be a relative layout because it is easier to manage but you can also use a linear layout or some other views set its height to be some fixed size this can be changed later through the code if you want for demonstration we will just insert the text view and choose a background color for it alright go back to main activity XML uh, what we can do here uh, one more thing we can also set the background color for our navigation view so let's just do that quickly now uh, this will all work but when we click on menu items nothing will happen drawer won't close toolbar will not be updated and so on in case of that we need to fix all these through the code so go to main activity and declare our toolbar drawer layout navigation view and also uh, action bar drawer toggle it is also known as a famous hamburger menu uh, reference your toolbar and call this method set support action bar and in its constructor pass a toolbar as a parameter then reference the drawer layout and also navigation view Navigation view has its own listener for the menu items, so implement it on the following way navigation view dot set navigation item selected listener. It's very long. Make this method inside of it returns true. Now here we have an instance of the menu item, so we can simply switch this item and check for its ID ID uh, what is the ID it is one that we wrote into the nav menu .xml file to confirm this section let's create a toast so when we click on the item a toast will be shown okay do this also for the remaining items don't forget to close your drawer layout when you click on the menu item. So just type drawer layout dot close drawers. Then we will make that hamburger menu icon. Drawer toggle equals new action bar drawer toggle with parameters that correspond to our views. Like so now for this string res parameter we can't just type a string so we need to go to the strings.xml and manually create string there so go there and create these two strings for opening and closing a drawer layout after that go back and just write them down now we need to connect our drawer layout with this hamburger menu so type in drawer layout dot set drawer listener and choose the drawer toggle from the before and in in order to have a nice transit animation for the menu icon just type drawer toggle dot sync state that's it let's see the emulator as it is showing we have successfully implemented this material design drawer thanks for watching see you next time bye bye